Hi, my name is Bobby Tracy, and I'm here today at the Rizzo branch of the John McIntyre Library. So what we are going to do today is I'm going to show you how to design a bouquet with flowers. Let's say you get a bouquet from a local grocery store and you don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to show you how to do a basic floral arrangement with either flowers from a grocery store or flowers from your yard or a little bit of both. So we will get started here. Uh, I brought a selection of flowers and some greenery. Some of these greeneries are from my yard and some are from a grocery store. So we're gonna get started with uh, some greenery. This is a basic uh, type of sword fern and we are going to take them and cut them on an angle and we are going to crisscross do a crisscross design to start and we're doing just a basic clear glass vessel vase and we always want to pull off some leaves that uh, would go in your water we don't want that because we want to keep your water clean and clear these are hosta leaves So we have filled in the vase all the way around with our sword fern, our hosta leaves. We went all the way around. You can turn your vase. And uh, we have filled it in generously. And you can always go back in after your arrangement's done and fill in more if you have to. Now we're going to do our spike flower, our tall flower. And this is a liatris. And we're going to do it as our center focal. And you usually do things in odd numbers. And we're gonna start out with three right now. And we're gonna strip off our foliage. And we're gonna to try to make them staggered. And now we're gonna do two feature flowers. And I picked hydrangeas which is a garden flower also. And they're a nice filler flower. And we are going to do one on each side. We're gonna do this arrangement kind of a bright summer color. And this is Golden Aster. And we are gonna put in a few pieces of it right now to kind of Give us a little height, a little of that kind of greenish yellow color. just a nice vase arrangement that you can use like on a foyer table, a side table. It's a little too tall for a dining room table. These are orange Gerber daisies. We're going to give them a nice cut. A lot of times at grocery stores you can find these bouquets mixed. Or, or just all solid flowers. A lot of times you can find these Gerber daisies uh, all together in one bunch. Or you can find them mixed with other flowers. And we're going to do one on each side here. So, so far, this is what your arrangement looks like. And I think we'll do a few more yellow aster in here. Maybe down here on our sides for a little bit more filler. So 
I brought some flowers. Let's see if we can incorporate a few of those in here. You always want to do so many flowers high and so many flowers low. So just kind of go in between what you've done. So we put two on each side of that hydrangea. So now we've got to go to the other side. So maybe over here, let's do one above the hydrangea and make it completely opposite. So our final touch to this arrangement, we're going to put just a little bit of baby's breath in it because some people love baby's breath, some people do not. We're going to do just a touch of baby's breath in here to give it a little bit of white. Um, like I say, a lot of people like baby's breath, a lot of people do not. Um, I do whatever the customer wants. Um, we have a lot of people that like baby's breath, and a lot of people uh, do not like it. But this arrangement, I think, is very pretty with it in it. It gives it that little touch of extra wisp. Just a very simple basic face arrangement, very easy to do. It is a very, very just simplistic face arrangement. Like I said, you can do this with grocery store flowers, garden flowers, or a little bit of both. It's just a nice standard clear glass rose vessel. Let's tuck in that hosta leaf. And um, this should last anywhere between five and seven days. Thank you for joining us here at the Rosal Branch John McIntyre Library and enjoy your summer.